Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video. And what we have here is a scout, right? This is what the majority of you will think of when someone mentions a scout. Well, I'm going to give you a choice. You can be this guy, or you can be this guy. So it's your choice. Today I present to you the build that allows you to select scout, rush the enemy hard and play the objective. This is the PTFO scout build. Now if you're not sure what PTFO means, I'm going to let you look it up rather than spell it out in here, but long time subscribers may recognise that this build is the same as my aggressive scout build but with one extremely clear difference, that being our primary weapon the M1903 Experimental, and this one alteration vastly changes how the build plays out. This is not a sniper rifle, it's a modified rifle that fires pistol ammunition in a semi-automatic fire mode. Now I'm not going to say that this is a powerful weapon because it's absolutely not, but some of these clips make it look pretty good. I mean it's essentially like using a weak medic rifle, so think of it that way. However if I were given the choice of using this or a standard scout rifle at extreme close range such as on an objective then I would definitely pick this, the M1903 Experimental. It has some value here. After all, the whole point is to directly play the objective with this build. The synergy of using this weapon to push in with your team after you've fired a spotting flare can be extremely powerful, but we'll talk about that later on. Now spotting is very important for this weapon, as anything outside close range due to the less than fantastic iron sights is a difficult situation. And if the game decides it doesn't want to let you spot for this match, which it does sometimes, then things did just get a whole lot harder for you. Now, in addition to fighting at close range, the weapon can be used at distance, but there is a high level of difficulty here due to the lack of damage available. Your best bet is to spot the target if possible, and once they're stationary, you train your sights on them and pump as much lead into them as you can as quickly as possible, because if you don't, they're going to have an easy time evading you and surviving. So overall, the M1903 Experimental is going to reward those with a fast trigger finger, strong target acquisition, and steady aim. Our sidearm is going to be the from a stop because if you're going to be spamming that trigger with your primary, then it would make sense for that flow and muscle memory to carry across your sidearm. On top of that, I just think it's a fantastic sidearm. This will be our cleanup weapon, as well as sometimes being used for close range encounters, when they're more suited to a sidearm than the M1903 Experimental. It's easy to control and fires quickly, so aim down sight, hammer that trigger, and you can drop people in double quick time. Gadget 1 is going to be the spotting flare, and this is what pulls the whole build together. You're using two weapons that are most effective at close range and you're trying to play aggressive and push objectives. The spotting flare allows you, or perhaps you and your squad, to push with the comfort of knowing if and where the enemy are. If there are people occupying an objective or power position, then you could go and clear it in a way that you just wouldn't be consistently able to with other scout weapons. Or if nobody is in the area, then you can move on it in the knowledge that it's safe. Bonus points for having a support player in your squad so you can constantly flare ahead of where you're moving to. Gadget 2 is going to be the incendiary tripwire bomb, and I imagine I don't really need to explain this or show you any examples. It's simply been selected so you have a little defense to cover you, and you can leave it on the flag if you want when you're about to move for a nice little surprise for the enemy. Our grenade is going to be the frag due to its overall versatility. We also don't want to be using something like gas, as we definitely need to be aiming down sight with these weapons. And overall we want an explosive with high damage output to offset the slower kill time of our primary weapon. Finally we have the melee weapon and I've gone for my ever trusty Bartek bludgeon. You can choose whatever you prefer but this time I actually selected it for a reason. Much like the grenade, I wanted something with a high damage output so I could put a few shots into people with my primary or secondary and then be able to finish them off with a swing or two of this beast. So that's the PTFO scout build. Let me know what you think of it and if you try it then come back and tell me how it went. Could you manage to use the M1903 experimental effectively? Regardless, I hope you enjoyed. If you want to help and see more in the future, then like, favorite, and subscribe. I'm Get Good Guy, and I'll see you next time. Laters.